So what does, what does make you worthy to partake of the bread and the cup? Well, what's the only thing that can make you worthy? Faith. Faith is what makes you worthy. That's what I believe. I believe that if you are saved, if you're born again, if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you are worthy to partake of the bread and the cup because it's symbolizing what has already happened in your life. You've believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. You've partaken spiritually of his body. You've partaken spiritually of his blood. And that's what we're remembering tonight. And why do I think it's faith? Well, number one, if we go back to 1 Corinthians 11, it says here in verse 28, But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. Now faith is the only thing you can examine of yourself. That's why it's not for me to, to say who can and who can't partake of, of the bread and the cup. I can advise you who should and who shouldn't. You know, in terms of, you know, if you're not saved, I would not partake of the bread and the cup. But if you're saved, that's what makes you worthy. Number one, because only you can examine that. It says there, let a man examine himself. Again, it says here in verse 29, For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself. Why? Not discerning the Lord's body. So it wasn't because you had some unconfessed sin in your life, or you weren't living right, or you were wrong with another brother in Christ, or something like that. It's like you weren't discerning, you weren't, you weren't understanding why you were taking the bread and the cup. You know, the fact that it's representing what happens when we're saved. 